But the contrast between that boyhood awareness and the confusion he saw down on this planet was not only difficult, it seared his soul. And the divisions that he describes in Palmyra were not simply among and between others, neighbors and friends. They were in his own family. We have recently shown that he had a, at least one relative in every church in Palmyra. So that the family was utterly spread. Order in heaven, disorder on earth. How can God be responsible for both? But the record also makes it transparently obvious that it hadn't ever occurred to him when he went in the grove that all of the then influential churches were in error. Notice that the question he put when he recovered himself, the question he put was not, is there a true church in the world? The question he put was, which church is true? He assumed at least one had to be. The answer was all the more striking and stark, therefore. Join none of them. Another interesting point about the background is that he had been struck. In fact, he says, no passage of scripture ever came more strongly to a soul than mine. Struck by reading the Bible. We think we know that Reverend George Lane was the man who first recommended in Joseph Smith's hearing that one do that, and even that specific passage was mentioned in some of Reverend Lane's sermons. He was a Methodist, and he was associated with the revival of which I've spoken. We can't prove that he was this person. But Joseph later describes this uh, person who was, he says, identified with the aforementioned religious excitement. I can't imagine, and this to me is poignant, that at age 14, full as he was of the glory, the remarkable experience, and the excitement of it, going, and he says he did, he doesn't name George Lane, he says, I went to this man, told him what had happened, and you Remember, his response was instantly, Oh no, that could not be of God. Those sort of things don't happen anymore. So to recommend that one lacking wisdom ought to go and pray, let him ask of God. Fair enough, but the answer seemed to this man too much. Heaven came too close. And it's almost as if, I repeat, the boy, pure-minded, spontaneous, even a little unrestrained, as teenagers are, should have been struck instantly in the moment of, wow, it worked. You told me to do this. I did it. And the response is, shucks, boy. It's all of the devil. And the smile slowly disappeared. And he learned early that to testify, even to hint, of divine manifestations was to stir up darkness and to call down wrath. And that continued until there were bullets. Bullets.